Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, we're gonna cover part one of our two-part series on the brand new 3D Analytics dashboard. This video will cover the subscribers report. The second video will cover the posts report. And this dashboard we're calling 3D Analytics is our advanced analytics solution that is designed to help creators deeply understand their performance metrics as it relates to subscribers and the content that they're creating. At the end of this video, you're gonna be able to use the subscribers report to deeply understand subscription trends and take actionable steps to improve and optimize your subscription rate. It's important to note that as you get started, the advanced analytics dashboard is available on our scale plan. So you'll have to have that plan in order to get access. Without further ado, let's jump in and get started. So starting out, you're gonna start on your uh, homepage. You'll move to the analyze tab. If you're on the scale plan, you'll have immediate access to this subscribers report. When you click into it, it's gonna pull up this screen that has a bunch of different charts on it. And we're gonna go through what each of these means as well as how to change the different filtering options. The first thing to notice is that this is going to cover data from subscribers that subscribed during the time period you set here. So all of this performance, all of these numbers have to do with users who have subscribed in the past 30 days. Now, if we wanna look at all time, we can go back and we can you know, just say before today, and that will show any time in the past and we'll update all of these numbers. We'll just do that for to have the most available data. Next, this next filter is going to allow us to filter by the source. So that's gonna be beehive.com or direct or um, token graph, for example. So we're gonna leave that blank because we just wanna look at all uh, performance. And then if you have a specific campaign tag, so this would have come through as the UTM campaign, you can also filter by specific campaign. From there, uh, now that we've had the filter options uh, covered, we'll go through each of these widgets. So the new subscribers by acquisition source is going to uh, essentially show you the data around the aggregate view of what you see in the audience tab. So you might see that these look a little bit familiar in terms of website and then the source medium. So this is the channel, the source, and then the medium. This is going to just aggregate all of that data that you see on your subscribe page or sorry, on your audience page under subscribers. The next one is gonna be your subscriber email funnel over all time, which is uh, you know through this time that we set, but we've delivered 46,000 emails. Of those, 45% were clicked, which is 20,000. And then of those 1,578 clicks, that's a 3.41% click-through rate. So from here, you can, you can really see kind of that funnel of how things go from delivery to open to click on an aggregate level. Next, it's going to show you these uh, cards that have specific metrics. So this is all of the users who have subscribed during the time period, the number of unique emails that have been sent, the average emails received per subscriber, the number of de emails delivered from the of all of the email sends that we've sent, we've delivered uh, this many specifically unique emails. This is the same number of open rates. This is basically you know the specific cards from the numbers up here. So uh, emails delivered, emails opened, and emails clicked. Next, we have some gauges and uh, breakdowns to show you kind of the composition of different metrics. So this is the all-time open rate, gives you some insight into different, uh, you know, some gauge of, gauges of performance. Um, we'll show you opens by acquisition source. So this is going to say that of all of the opens that we've had, 82% of them came from users who subscribed on the beehive.com website. That's our homepage. So that is to say, you're able to then now see specific open rates by your acquisition source, channel, medium, et cetera. 
I want to repeat that again. You'll be able to see your open performance by where you obtained a subscriber. This is a really powerful feature and a, one of the most powerful components of this dashboard. If you're running multi-channel campaigns, you can go in here and see not just where you gained the subscribers from, which is shown up here, but this is actually going to show you where that performance is coming from in terms of open rates. Um, you'll also then be able to see where the opens are happening broken down geographically. So you can see that 68% come from the U.S. The rest come from outside. You can highlight to see specific percentages. And then drilling down one more level, you can see the email click-through rate over all time. And again, this is, shows a similar breakdown uh, as we just went over with opens, but with clicks. So at the end of the day, if you're driving clicks, if that's your goal to get someone through your newsletter and clicking through to a website, this may be more interesting. If you're trying to sell advertising, of course, the opens by acquisition source can be interesting. One valuable tactic is to compare the sources of where you're acquiring users in that proportion to where your opens are coming from. Because you may find that some channels, you may have received fewer subscribers from that channel, but they're opening their emails at a disproportionate rate. Well, that would indicate that you may want to double down and invest in that channel because you, you seem to be finding highly engaged, uh, you know, valuable subscribers there. Lastly, covering this last uh, widget, we're going to show the clicks based on their country, uh, aggregate in terms of the percentage breakdown. So that covers all of the widgets on the subscribers report. Again, you can slice and dice this data even further by you know, typing in specific sources or campaigns and you can really get quite granular. Lastly, perhaps you wanna go much deeper than what we're providing. Maybe you wanna see what's happening in this other segment or you, you wanna visualize uh, some of this data for a report for a partner. We make that super simple by allowing you to export the full results of any of these widgets into several different formats. XLS, which is an Excel sheet, JSON, and CSV. For example, if I were to export this widget into a CSV form and then open it in uh, Google Sheets or, or Excel, this is what's going to show up in that Excel sheet, where you're going to have a full uh, breakdown of all of the results down to the very last user. So this can help you get real granular. You could take this and visualize it in any way that you would want, separate from how we do it in this dashboard, and that would uh, perhaps be a very valuable you know, add to a report you're delivering to a advertising partner, for example. So there you have it. This was part one of our 3D analytics, advanced analytics dashboard. This was the subscriber report. We look forward to uh, seeing how you guys use it. We would love feedback on uh, success that you have with the dashboard, any insights that you find, uh, and any comments that you have regarding the features. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you build.